Rich said, anyone heard of the First Amendment? <laughs> ShireSociety.com Okay, so FPS is here, looks like. That's probably a Federal Protective Services guy. He looks pretty laid back so far. It's probably... Rich said, anyone heard of the First Amendment? <laughs> So I hope you can bear with me here in the sense that um, I tend to count on the possibility that other people will have cameras closer when there is a, a confrontation like this, minor confrontation. Uh, right now, it doesn't seem like anyone is close enough to that guy to get audio. Uh, Joel is filming. Joel, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, Shire Dude. Or maybe that's not, I don't know. I call him Shire Dude. <laughs> I think his name may also be Joel. I'm not sure. Negotiations are obviously taking place. It's where those folks are going to be able to stand. Although I'm not sure I should say that our guys are negotiating. <laughs> they may just be refusing. What, what orders or requests did the uh, Federal Protective, Protective Services guy have for us? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't speaking with him. Oh, okay. Uh, they didn't order you guys to take anything off the sidewalk or anything like that? I noticed Not there's, no, there's nothing on the sidewalk now. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get our radios working. What were you telling me? One more suggestion for you, which is if we get pieces of plywood about this size, okay, we paint the front of them with our message and we put two leather or cloth straps on the back of it so we can carry it like an old fashioned shield. Um, it would A, give us a way to uh, defend ourselves at a protest so we could at least, you know, be blocking <laughs> and such. But it would also, because it would be heavier, we'd be able to like lean them up against things and probably have them stay. So, just a suggestion. I was going to do that for the 420. I love hours. the science of protests. Yes. What, what did the cop have to say? Um, he said we couldn't be on federal property, uh, so we had to step off onto the sidewalk, which is unfortunate because it uh, inconveniences pedestrians, but, you know, hey, income taxes uh, inconvenience pedestrians, too. Well, they, they're not used, they're, they're pretty used to hurting people. This yeah, is pretty small for them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, his demeanor look good, at least. If that's tyranny's price, right. they don't mind. Uh -huh. But, yeah. But it, the, seems uh, like, it seems like more folks are uh, stopping and... Uh, you know, shooting the breeze with our guys and staying for a little bit. And what did you say your name was again? Uh, Mike. Okay. Uh, I was what? Just doing what, were you, uh, what were you saying? What do you think of that? I can't really see it. I'm totally impressed. Whatever it said. Okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> he said you can't hear him. He said. I said. But earlier he was saying, he said, I'm so oppressed, I don't really care what the sign says, I'll support it, basically. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the, the conflict has been going on since, uh, I don't know since when it's been a conflict, but uh, there's been this, you know, at least a 10 year long effort to try to get the Federals to leave this building, which they apparently seized uh, from property owners, from, from businesses and homes that were there uh, back in the 60s. Now, the, uh, the mayor of Portsmouth, the, the, the assistant mayor at least, is James Splane. And he was one of the guys who had his home eminent domain, I believe. Not necessarily by the feds, not necessarily the same incident, but uh, Splane became uh, an ardent opponent of seizing things through eminent domain. Uh, and now he is sort of the point man to some extent in this battle with the feds over whether, whether they're ever going to give up this building. 
Now, the Fed folks say that uh, the legislation that Judd Gregg, I guess, pushed through at the federal level uh, indicates that the uh, city is supposed to uh, provide the feds another place to go, presumably another building. The feds say they haven't gotten that building. That's why they want fair market value for this uh, misused space. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.